Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yong Kang from Wuhan National High Medical Field Center at Hua Chong University of Science and Technology in China. It is my pleasure to be here to give this presentation. The title of my talk is Unconventional Core Effects in Correlated Topological Wire Same Matters. So before my presentation, I would like to make an advertisement. Our group is hiring postdocs. The research of interest of our group are mainly focused on the uh, correlate, correlate the quantum materials, including high fermium, quantum phase transitions, unconventional uh, superconductivity, and topological materials. And in our lab, we uh, do crystal growth and all kinds of uh, physical property measurements. So the PhD of condensed metal physics or the material science major are welcome to apply. Okay. Uh, this is the outline of my presentation. So in my talk, I will uh, mainly focus on these two kinds of materials, the cerium aluminum, germanium, and the cerium uh, cerium titanium antimony. Uh, here are the collaborators of my uh, this works. Uh, so before we went into the unconventional Hall effects, I think it is necessary to briefly introduce the ordinary Hall effect. The ordinary Hall effect was discovered uh, in 1879 by Edwin Hall. So as we know, if we apply an electric current and also a magnetic field that is perpendicular to the electric current, uh, one can pick up an, the Hall voltage as a, 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 a transverse Hall uh, voltage signal, so which is called the Hall signal. And uh, the, Hall, the Hall coefficient can be defined by such, and which is uh, inverse proportional to the carrier density. So actually, the, therefore, the ordinary Hall effect is a measure of the carrier type and the concentration. Soon after the discovery of ordinary Hall effect, Edwin also found the, a, 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 a more overwhelming uh, uh, Hall effect, which now called the anomalous Hall effect. So in this case, the total Hall receptivity contains two a term. The first one is still the ordinary Hall effect, and the second one, uh, which is, uh, can be scaled to the uh, MH curve or the magnetization curve, is called the, the anomalous Hall effect. So the anomalous Hall effect is usually found in uh, those magnetic materials. The origin of the anomalous Hall effect is usually clarified into two uh, regimes. The first is called the intrinsic. Uh, uh, mechanism, so which is, is due to the bare phase of, of field uh, of field band uh, due to the spin of the coupling, and the other two are due to the extrinsic factors, uh, uh, usually called the side jump or the skew scattering. So particular interest is the anomalous Hall effect due to the very curvature or the intrinsic mechanism. <coughs> um, it usually arises in those non-trivial topological band structure. And the um, the very curvature of the uh, of the band uh, serves as a fictitious field, so the electron will pick up an addi additional uh, magnetic field, and this co will cause the, the anomalous Hall effect. But in recent years, the uh, very curvature was also found in some real space. That means that <coughs> usually in those uh, uh, magnetic systems with non coplanar or non collinear uh, uh, spin structures. So that means that if the electron, the <coughs> conduction electron will travel across the, the landscape of such kind of uh, magnetic uh, spin, uh, magnetic systems, uh, they will pick up an additional uh, field, uh, which is uh, due to the spin chilarity. And this is usually called uh, uh, the topological Hall effect. And the topological Hall effect is uh, uh, something I'm going to talk more in the rest of my talk. The second part of the introduction is about the condo wire same matter. Um, so for, first, we need to know what is the same matter? Uh, what is a wire same matter? Uh, we should start with the direct same matter. So actually, the direct same matter is a 3D version of the graphene. So that means that it has a direct point in bulk. And uh, um, as because of this crossing point, crossing lines are linear, and it has a linear dispersion, so they are presumed to be uh, massless uh, quasiparticles. 
some these are called direct method and the example representative examples are cadmium acid and sodium bismuth so from the direct sum method if we break either time loop the symmetry or the inversion symmetry then the direct point will split into two wire sum method uh, two wire points with uh, opposite chiralities and this is called the wire sum method uh, the, some examples are the tantalum acetate family but for most of the known uh, wire sum methods they are weakly correlated electronic systems um, then it will be interesting that uh, uh, what will happen if the electronic correlation are involved and uh, that is why we want to uh, do this uh, research so the compound we studied first is uh, the theory of aluminum germanium actually in 2018 a theoretical paper uh, was uh, published about this family of uh, compounds so they did the dft calculation so from the starting from the less than aluminum germanium they found that it's a uh, type 2 uh, wire semiconductor so this is realized because uh, this compound already breaks the inversion symmetry and if we replace the lanthanum with the cerium or the uh, praseodymium, uh, both of them are magnetic. Then the uh, time reverse symmetry is also breaking. <coughs> so in this case, uh, they found that the the wire point will be further stabilized by the time reverse symmetry breaking. <coughs> so this uh, motivates us to. Uh, investigated the, the compound of cerium, aluminum, germanium, because uh, in cerium, the 4F1 electron usually will show some very interesting properties like the hyperfermion or the quantum free point. So we want to know how what will happen if the, the electronic correlation meets the topology. So actually in 2018, uh, there is already some experimental paper about this compound. And they found that uh, in this com uh, material, the cerium moment uh, will show some antiferromagnetic ordering before 5.1k. And also, the, uh, the moments uh, of the cerium are uh, aligned in AB plane. So, uh, so, meaning the C axis is the hard axis and AB is the easy plane. And in 2020, another group also published a PIL paper. And they found uh, the, some topological Hall effect. Uh, at temperatures below the ordinary temperature and this is this is very interesting because uh, it uh, uh, is a quite it, it is a quite uh, similar to the magnesium silicide uh, which is the skirmium phase or the multi-cube phase so for us what we are interested in, uh, uh, so uh, some uh, open questions like this for example so we want to know how the 4F electron physics will evolve with the pressure, especially we want to know how does the magnetic structure and also the topological uh, Hall effect will change across the quantum grid point. So to understand this, we performed the experiments. And the first thing we did is to measure the resistivity and the AC calorimetry under pressure. And we initially we expect that the, the narrow temperature will be, uh, will be suppressed by pressure. Uh, and this will probably will lead to some quantum grid point. But unfortunately, we found that the TC actually increases with pressure. Uh, so this place is that the, this compound at a regime of the weakly uh, electronic correlation due to the probably, which is probably due to the low carrier density. And in this case, uh, because of the low uh, uh, CF hybridization, the uh, condo coupling increases slower than the rtxy interaction so the magnetic ordering temperature will be increased by pressure and another interesting feature is that uh, uh, if we subtract the phonon contribution from the total heat capacity and we can scale the electronic part as a function of the t over gm so this means that the magnetic structure of this compound does not change too much under pressure and then we measure the, the Hall effect under, uh, so at ambient pressure. So here, uh, for high field, we found that, we found that the rec Hall receptivity is uh, essentially a linear function of, of field. And it is also T independent. And for, from this, we can get the 
carry density is a, a 0 0.067 a hole per formula unit. And this is consistent with uh, the weak uh, CF hybrid, uh, hybridization. <laughs> and another important feature is that uh, at uh, the low field, we also detected a um, very interesting loop shaped uh, pore effects, meaning that uh, so if we sweep the field from zero to seven, you follow in this trace, and uh, then if we come back from seven Tesla to zero, you follow another case. Uh, another trace. So this is, means it, it has some history dependent. And because the magnetization curve does not show any feature around this field, so uh, so this we, we cannot scale uh, the uh, whole receptivity with uh, the MH curve. So meaning that uh, this kind of top, uh, this kind of whole effect should not be Due to the a standard topological anomalous Hall effect, but should be due to some uh, topological Hall effect. And we should also mention that the topological uh, Hall effect we observed actually is quite large because it's uh, it is at least a hundred times larger than that in magnetic suicide. So actually, such kind of loop shift topological Hall effect is quite unusual. Uh, so far as we know. The so neodymium iridium oxygen is the first example that shows a uh, loop shift topological Hall effect. So in this case, uh, the authors uh, claim that uh, it has something to do with the domain wall between the all in all out and the all out all in the domain. And in this, do uh, they claim that in this domain, uh, uh, so sorry, so in this uh, compound uh, in the bulk, uh, yeah, it, it has uh, some wire points. And uh, the domain walls will ping some in gap states. So, uh, some, uh, and it, this forms some uh, conducting interface, and will, and some theoretical, some, some theories predict that it will cause some, uh, cause the uh, uh, loop shift on a uh, uh, topological Hall effect. And recently, the uh, loop shift topological Hall effect was also found in the serum aluminum silicon, uh, which is isostructural to serum aluminum germanium. And this, uh, in, in this paper, they uh, use the MOC uh, to, uh, to, see the, uh, to, 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 to see the domain wall. And they found uh, there are two kinds of domain wall. And the uh, 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 most interesting is that this uh, so 100 zero zero domain wall is topological. And this probably is the reason for the topological Hall effect. So in our case, actually, uh, we also propose uh, two kinds of scenarios. So the first one, uh, but both of them are have uh, have something to do with the domain wall. So let's say, for example, uh, the first one, uh, because of the, we we so we, we already know that the magnetic magnetic ground state is the the AFM uh, state with the spins aligned in AB plane, and then when the field is applied in Z, we we propose we we assume that the state will change into the FM. A state. So if there is some domain wall, let's say, uh, probably the inside the domain wall, there is a non-zero spin chirality, and this may cause the topological Hall effect. And meanwhile, because it, it is inside the domain wall, so it is reasonable to uh, that they will show some loop shift. And another scenario is, is, has also something to do with the domain wall because uh, uh, so we are we also calculated the, the wire points for these two kind of structures and uh, they have different uh, wire points. So on the domain walls, if we project the uh, the wire points on uh, to the domain wall, um, we will see that uh, 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 the domain wall probably will pin uh, some of the Fermi arcs uh, that is projected from the bulk. And this, uh, according to some theories, this will another re this will be an, uh, also some the reason uh, for the loop shift topological Hall effect. So to demonstrate the rule of the domain uh, wall uh, in our sample, uh, uh, we performed the pressure effect. Uh, as we know that the pressure will change the domain wall, and then uh, this probably will uh, cause the change of the uh, the topological Hall effect correspondingly. Uh, 
And uh, indeed, we found that the uh, loop shift topological Hall effect changes quite a lot with pressure. So especially on the high pressure, uh, the, the region of the loop actually splits into two. And uh, yeah, we, we will explain the reason later. So to, uh, to, uh, before we get into the talk, talk more about the origin of the loop shift topological Hall effect, now we show the receptivity and the pressure and the field. So first we start at, at the ambient pressure. So we can see that as the field increases, the, uh, the antiparamagnetic transition was uh, suppressed. And meanwhile, when field is about, above the point, uh, point 0.5 Tesla, we can see that uh, the receptivity drops uh, uh, dramatically. And uh, this, uh, uh, we define this temperature as the Tm. And we can see that the Tm actually changes, uh, increases uh, with field. So that means, uh, so we, we expect that uh, uh, this is due to the field induced polarization. And uh, of course, when field is large enough, we can see that uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the moment of theorem also arrives before uh, or uh, without, uh, uh, without uh, enter the, the AFM transition. So we can construct a phase diagram by this uh, fourth color plot. And we can see that, uh, so this uh, Tn and Tm and also the Tp, Tp defined from the, this uh, slope change. Uh, the three characteristic temperature emerges at this point. Therefore, this is point is, uh, probably is a tri-critical point. But uh, uh, when under high pressure, we can uh, uh, a different feature is that, uh, uh, for example, at 1.5 Tesla, we, we can see that uh, uh, it is already polarized before it enters the antiferromagnetic transition. And then this is followed by uh, another uh, TM transition. So the phase diagram is uh, different uh, with the ambient pressure. We can see that uh, the first, the area of the antiferromagnetic uh, regime is much larger. And also that, uh, and also at some intermediate uh, field, we can see that uh, uh, it, uh, enters the, the, the field-induced ferromagnetic phase, and then it uh, re-enters into the AFM phase. <coughs> and this re-entry of the AF out of the FIF will be uh, an important reason for the uh, loop shift topological effect. So, but first we want to uh, demonstrate that the, uh, the why, the, why, why the AFM transition, a, a, AFM uh, phase is become larger. So this can be confirmed by the DFT calculation without field. So in this calculation, uh, we, uh, we, we, we calculated the two pressures, the zero pressure and the uh, three GPA. And for both pressures, we found the ground state is, is uh, always the AFM uh, XY state. But uh, meanwhile, we also noticed that uh, the uh, energy difference between the ground state and the first excited state uh, increases with pressure. So that means the AFM, uh, AFM XY, which is the ground state, is further stabilized under pressure. And another feature is that uh, we also notice uh, there are many <coughs> competing orders with similar uh, energy. So this makes the domain walls in this, uh, in this compound very likely. So putting all these together, we can uh, we 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 probably want to propose a story like this. Um, so let's see. So uh, under pressure, under pressure, <coughs> we can see that uh, uh, when temperature <coughs> becomes low, uh, the system firstly uh, enters a field-induced uh, uh, ferromagnetic state and then re-enters the AFM regime, and this. So uh, this causes the domain walls to appear inside the sample. Um, and uh, with, our, with, with this domain present, uh, we can, uh, uh, it, it is very likely the loop shift topological Hall effect uh, will be induced. And we got this idea because we found that uh, the regime of the, the second loop shift topological Hall effect is exactly the same as the 
as that of the uh, re-entrance of the AFM phase. <coughs> so, um, and the so with this we could also uh, make um, um, it, it it's also interesting to note that uh, so with this we can see that the pressure uh, this kind of the 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 loop shift topology Hall effect is the pressure controllable so this probably have some applications in uh, devices so actually we also realize that uh, such kind of loop shift topology Hall effect is uh, quite common in uh, uh, correlated wire cell method. So the, this, uh, the second example I'm going to talk about is the cerium titanium uh, antimonide, uh, which is our recent progress. So this compound also uh, actually crystallized in a uh, uh, hexagonal structure with quasi Kagome uh, structure. <coughs> so with the quasi Kagome structure, so it has a, a very high frustration. So at a low temperature, uh, the spins are also aligned in AB plane, but uh, uh, below 5 Kelvin, it has two magnet faces. <coughs> so this makes the domain wall also uh, possible in this compound. And actually, yes, we also found a very interesting loop shift topological effect, uh, especially at 2 Kelvin, which is the base temperature. We found the, that the uh, loop shift topological effect, uh, uh, the loop, uh, also switches, um, which in our, uh, to, uh, so far as we know, has not been observed in other compounds. Then we also want to know whether this has something to do with the topology. So for this purpose, we also did the DFT calculations. So we start from the lanthanum titanium antimonide, and we found that it is likely a, a direct matter. And then we did uh, the calculation on the serum compound. And with the full F electron involved, we found uh, the uh, magnetic, uh, the, the time reversal symmetry is broken, and the direct point uh, will split into wire, uh, two wire points. So, uh, due to the time, I'm not going to give too much detail about this compound. And uh, let's uh, draw some uh, conclusions. So, uh, we found uh, the some uh, the, the loop shift top, uh, topological Hall effect is quite common in serum based uh, condo wire cemetery. And we also found that the domain wall are crucial for the, this uh, loop shift topological Hall effect. But many uh, questions are, remain open. Uh, for example, we, we, although we propose uh, the two scenarios, uh, I mean, I mean the spin chirality and the Fermi arc, but actually we still do not know which is the exact uh, reason for the, for the loop shift topological effect. And also we still do not know how the top topology and the, the loop shift topological effect evolve with uh, pressure, uh, especially how do they change across the quantum creep point. So to understand this, we need to do more uh, work in the future and uh, come back to the advertisement uh, uh, more uh, postdocs are needed to do these works. And with this, I would like to thank you for attention.